Keiko the killer whale, the star of the movie Free Willy, was captured in Iceland when he was two years old and ultimately sold to a theme park in Mexico City where he performed in a pool at 7,000 feet above sea level in artificial seawater. He was underweight and he had a skin disease. Private donors paid to have Keiko moved to a special aquarium in Oregon with real seawater, where he learned to eat fresh fish and where he did not perform for audiences. His health and his skin disease improved. Once Keiko was healthy enough to make the trip to Iceland, he was loaded onto a C-17 cargo plane rented from the U.S. Air Force, who said it was in the best interest of the nation to fly Keiko home to his birthplace. Keiko would be given the opportunity to swim in the ocean again and possibly to be reunited with killer whales. Keiko was placed in his own bay pen where he could acclimate to his new surroundings and once clear of his stretcher, he dived, surfaced a minute later, circled the pool, echolocated and vocalized. Keiko was later allowed to swim throughout the entire bay where he could explore the seafloor and experience a natural environment for the first time since he's captured 20 years before. I can only imagine what it must have been like for Keiko to be back in the ocean again, away from cement pools, where he could once again hear the sounds of other whales and to have a taste of freedom to roam where he chooses. Keiko was taught how to exit his enclosed bay and how to follow a boat so that he could be taken on open ocean walks. Each summer, killer whales pass by Iceland on their normal migration route, so the hope was that Keiko might recognize his family or their dialect so that he could rejoin other whales. In the summer of 2002, Keiko swam away with a part of killer whales and he swam 800 miles toward Norway. When he arrived there eight weeks later, his caregivers determined he had eaten well and was healthy. Keiko lived more than five years in the ocean and had the opportunity to live free once again.